How's it going, people? Welcome back to yet another version of Trader Talk. My name is Dapper Willis, as you already know. Now, this week, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. Why? Because last week, I was feeling horrible. I was so ill, but I just had to summon up the courage and the energy and the strength to put out a video just for you guys because I know a significant amount of you guys who watch my videos are from the Forex Mastery course and it is my duty and obligation to always come on here and keep updating you guys on the best trades possible, right? So, but this week, none of that is happening. I'm feeling really good. Um, the weather is slowly starting to improve in Dubai. It's been hot the past couple of months, but now I think we're slowly approaching the winter season and now I can finally go outside and shoot some videos outside for you guys and show you how beautiful Dubai is. Now, obviously today, you know, I'm going to jump into the charts. It's Trader Talk Tuesday. Um, actually, it's Wednesday today, but you get the point. It's Trader Talk. It's time for Trader Talk. I'm going to jump into my chart pretty soon. But before I do that, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a guy that I met uh, at the cafe. So there's a cafe like literally right outside of my building here in Dubai. And I usually go there, sit outside, I monitor my trades, all my millions of dollars floating. <laughs> I monitor my trades and my econ business as well. So I just usually sit out there every evening. And the guy literally saw me and he was like, wow, I can't believe I'm seeing you in person. I'm like, okay, who are you? And the guy's like, listen, I follow you on YouTube. I love your YouTube videos. And I am a Forex Mastery student. Now, when he told me he was a Forex Mastery student, now I pay attention to my YouTube subscribers, don't get me wrong. But when somebody tells me they're a Forex Mastery student, I'm like, okay, that means you actually do believe in the things I say about trading. So I was really, really excited. Like, are you serious? You're for He's like, yes. He said, let me prove it to you. So he logs into his Willis University dashboard and he shows me the course and he showed me he had completed the course. I'm like, okay, that's fine. How have you said he absolutely loves it? He was going on and on and I'm like, okay, cool. I know you love the course. It's a really good course. I want to see your trading account. Like, how well have you been performing? He was like, yeah, sure. And this guy opened up his trading account. And believe you me, he had taken his account from, I think it was $5,000 he invested. And he was pushing north of $12,000. So he had literally doubled the account. I think he started trading in sometime in April. So he had pretty much doubled his account. And he was about to take his account to 200%. And when I saw the trades... I was very impressed. So I started to ask him questions like, why did you get into this trade? Why did you? And for every time I asked him why he got into those winning trades, now this guy is smashing eight winning trades out of 10. And for every time I asked him why he got into a trade, everything he told me ties back to the Forex Mastery course. He said, remember when you said that when the market has a double top and this, 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 AUD, USD, I remember, and one of his biggest winners was the AUD, USD, which we just analyzed two weeks ago, which made us a lot of money, which I'm going to speak about in this video today. And I was like, wow, I was blown away. I'm like, and, but I said to him, I'm like, this year hasn't been the easiest year to trade. He said, yes, he understands, but the Forex mastery, the, the information and content on there has helped him navigate through. Now, this is exactly why I put the course together. It is anybody, any beginner can come on here and click buttons and bang trades. There's something called beginner's lock. But what really, really proves to a trader that he's really a trader is, is his ability to navigate through trying times. You see, when the market goes into a range is exactly when a lot of traders tend to blow their account. And he was telling me, at this point, I stood back. At this point, I wasn't trading. At this point, I listened to your YouTube trader talks and I wasn't trading. At this point, I decided to... And listen, guys, it was just like a father watching his child f grow into a man. I was so happy because nothing makes me happier than to see people consume my YouTube content, take the Forex Mastery course and become a success. This guy had been trading for about three years before that with no success. And for the f he told me, as a matter of fact, he said he's going to send me some money. <laughs> he said he's going to send me some money. I told him, he said he's going to make a withdrawal this morning and he's going to call me to take me out. I don't care like that's what I want to see obviously I don't need his money but to see that I, we've actually built a community of traders that are actually starting to become profitable makes me very happy and once again the course isn't that expensive it's $99 the guy literally just went to the link down below grabbed the course and applied himself you see at the end of the day 
in life, nobody is going to come and save you. You have to save yourself. All the tools you need are there. One of the tools you're going to need, if not the most ultimate tool you're going to need to be successful in Forex, is the Forex Mastery Program. You need to take it and apply yourself. You need to listen to the things that I say on the program. Things like if the market isn't cooperating, if the market isn't trending, stand aside. One of the major rules of the Forex Mastery course is knowing when to stand aside. Because if you get hooked on this market, if you get hooked on the market, you will, there's no amount of education you take in the world that will help you become profitable. So once again, shout out to you. I'm very happy that I met you. I gave him my number. I don't usually give out my number, but I gave him my number. And yeah, I'm actually expecting his call. He said he's going to buy me lunch today. So guys, I get free lunch today um, because one of my students has absolutely smashed it in the market. And he took the Forex Millionaire program as well, which has now, he's currently working on sourcing for funds from investors because he understands that if you want to make millions in the market, you have to approach investors with your knowledge and investors' money. That's exactly how you make millions in the foreign exchange market. Now, for those of you who haven't grabbed the course, um, the link is going to be down below. Do yourself a favor. Don't stop beating around the bush and actually start to pattern your life properly. So enough about me gloating about my student. I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of him. I'm happy for him. Okay, I'm happy, really, really genuinely happy for him. So enough about that. I'm going to jump into the charts. Like I said, I was going to jump into the chart, but I'm really happy for him. <laughs> I'm really happy for him, man. You know, I just... Because I remember back in the day, it was so stressful for me, man. It was so, so stressful. I remember strategy after strategy, indicator, those things were not working, man. Those indicators don't work. Those signals don't work. Sign up five people to sign up with. Those things don't work. So to see that my knowledge is actually helping people become successful makes me so happy. Please, I want to see more testimonials like this. I want to see more testimonials. Forex Mastery students do me proud, okay? If you're doing fantastically well, and I keep getting a lot of messages from you guys that are doing so well, but, but to actually meet somebody in person, it makes me really happy. Anyways, I've been talking about this for seven minutes. Let's jump into the charts. Let's see what's happening. Let's see. i got some charts for you guys. Let's go. Hello there, beautiful traders. Welcome inside of my screen. Once again, as you can see, I'm quite excited today. Um, obviously, because of the student that I met in the cafe, he made me really happy. And his trades have been playing out fantastically. But enough about him. Let's talk about you, okay? So let's see how we can um, make, you guys can make some money. What I have in front of me is the AUD USD. And as you can see from the last time I that's for those of you who actually watch my YouTube videos, right? My Trader Talk videos and follow me religiously and judiciously. Um, from the last time we spoke, remember when I told you guys that I was waiting for a close back down for AUD USD shorts. I have actually sold this market. And remember when I told you, look left. If you're doubting this, you can check the previous videos. Um, so obviously we sold here. My stop losses are here. My first level targets are here. So at the moment, I have a one-to-one -one risk to reward on this trade. I, I have gone on to close out about 60% of my position at the moment and my stop losses have been moved to break even. Why? Because remember when I, I mapped out these green bars pretty nicely for you guys, as you can see, this green bar, this green bar pretty nicely. I said, I'm expecting a sell-off into this green bar about here, which has happened. So target one has been fulfilled. Yay! Now, um, if we can break below this green bar, I should be expecting further downside. But at the moment, I'm not quite sure. So now we have gone from a period of 70% to 80% decline. That This is me as in probabilities of that happening. So now we're, this green bar represents a 50-50 situation, okay? Um, why does it represent a 50-50 situation? It represents a 50-50 situation because um, this is a left shoulder and I'm very wary of this shoulder at the moment. I have made some money from this market, not a lot of money. I risked, um, so I think my risk on this trade is probably about 6K. So about 6.5K, I think. So I've been able to... I've been able to at least make six, five, eight, almost six K back. So my risk to reward is, um, 
I'm, I've made what I risk back. So I've been able to lock in my profit. Um, so my short trades are somewhere inside of here, somewhere about here, one profit, then negative, and then all the way back down into profit. So because now my 3% can be different from yours. Some of you guys, your 3% is $30, $300, $3,000, right? So my point here is what I have risked, I've been able to make okay so now my stop losses are at break even now for some of you guys your risk your your first level target the amount of money you make on your first level target doesn't really seem like a lot but you have to understand that i always preach this on this channel whatever it is the market gives you you have to take you see it's the greedy people that end up with blown accounts so this market has given me what it's given me and now he has told me that listen daps i have got into a situation whereby this green bar is kind of like holding me from going lower i cannot root like i cannot ignore this green bar because of this guy this is a left shoulder so what i advise you to do like the market is advising me <laughs> guys let me tell you something yeah oh my god forex turning to a madman <laughs> i'm telling you guys listen you see, when you trade Forex and you start talking to yourself, you, you, you start saying the market is telling me, the, but it's the truth. I use clues on the chart to educate myself as to what to do next. So the market is telling me that, look, listen, Daps, look at this guy on the left. Don't play with this guy. Don't play with me. This guy, see, I'm not sure of this guy. Yo. So you have to be careful. So I've, I've done the, the I've, I've taken the necessary um, precautions and I have moved my stop losses to break even. Now, for those of you guys asking me how, um, how well we've done over the year, as of today, from our AUD USD trade from the last time, that's this short trade all the way to the, from here, all the way down here, we are currently up about 70% for the year, which is not bad as in for our hedge fund. Um, this is us trading conservatively. Now, if I had doubled my risk, probably be off a lot more than that, probably maybe 500% now, but I'm talking about for our investors um, and they're quite happy with us as well. Actually, I was speaking to one of our investors just uh, Friday last week and you know, they're pretty pleased. Now guys, you see my trading approach helps you sleep well at night, okay? It helps you sleep well at night because you know, I know regardless of the situation, I will never be in a position whereby I have to start running around begging people to give me money to pay back my investors. That can never be my situation. I am I can go to bed, you know, at night knowing fully well that as long as the Forex market exists, I will always have a roof over my head. As long as the Forex market exists, I will always fly private jet. I will always fly first class. I will always drive a nice car because of the way that I've decided to take the Forex market. I've decided to take the Forex market for what it is, okay? I'm not a gambler. I'm a very, you know, What's the word? I'm a very conservative trader. So for you know, for, for that fact alone, you know, I, I know for a fact that the Forex market will always be my ATM machine. Okay. It's just a matter of me just waiting for when it's ripe and then me going to harvest. It, I feel like this is a, it's a very powerful feeling. And uh, this is why I keep telling you guys to grab the Forex Mastery course. It's not because I want to take your little hundred bucks. Hundred dollars isn't good. Look at the trades I'm freaking calling here, guys. You think hundred dollars is my problem? You must be crazy. Come on, guys, look at the trades. I mean, we're, we're banging in week in, week out. For every time I come here, we must always have a profitable trade, except I'm, I except I decide to stand on, stand on the side. So the reason I tell you guys to grab the Forex Mastery course is so that you can actually start seeing the market like this and for peace of mind, peace of mind, okay? So anyways, enough about that. Um, so AUDUSD is currently hanging on at 0.3, 0.73059 at the moment. This is going to be the, the, the decision zone. So I'm going to be leaving AUDUSD at the moment. My stop losses have been moved to break even. I've taken out about uh, about 60 something percent of my position, I think. Um, I think 6K ish I've taken out from, from the market at the moment. So my stop losses are break even. I hope that we break lower. So at this point, what at this point, whatever the market wants to do is entirely up to it. I've made money from the market. I'm not going to look at the charts again. And that's the honest truth. After now, I'm going to close my computer. And I'm going to go chill, like do other things, run my e-com business, do other things. Because whatever the market wants to do from here is entirely up to it. I hope, I hope we break lower. But if in case we go back higher, that's also fine as well. I've been able to take something out. So this is the current analysis on AUD USD. Um, that's wrong. Let me go back to the daily. Let me quickly do a quick re recap on AUD USD. 
I am favoring the downside. I hope we break lower. Okay. I just hope we, we were able to bleed to the downside. If we bleed to the downside, I will make a significant amount of money on this trade. I'm not even going to lie. It's going to be sweet. Probably push us into 80% return on investment for the year. Um, so I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful. Let me just remove anything that is just a, a, a simple Fibonacci play. I'm hoping that this Fibonacci play actually holds this market in, in place. And so we can bleed all the way to the downside. But honestly, guys, in my journal, I have written that I am very concerned about this left shoulder that is that is hugging the market at the moment. Don't forget to journal your concerns. Okay, don't forget to journal your concerns. So I'm, I'm a bit concerned about this. I'm not even going to lie to you. So two things can happen here, guys. We can either bleed to the downside or we can start reversing for a bigger consolidation all the way to the upside because... Um, you know, like I keep telling you guys, um, I'm favoring 70% downside, 30% to the upside. Never rule out what could potentially be because if you give yourself the, the, the opportunity, the, 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 if you give yourself the room to be wrong, you never really lose money. You're never really taken by surprise. Okay, always give yourself room. But at the end of the day, I'm favoring the downside, 70% to downside, 30% to the upside. So I'm going to come back next week to see what happens uh, with AUD USA. I'll be monitoring this. I'll probably check my charts again, probably at the close of the market on Friday to see what happens. It is very possible that we can easily form a base around here and shh to the upside. Or if we have some, re it will take some really bad news from AUD USD to break lower. But don't get it wrong, guys. If we break lower, that's where my money is. I want to make more money. But I'm also wise enough. I'm also aware enough not to be emotionally attached to say that there's also a possibility that we can head higher as well. So enough about AUD USD. I have spotted two very interesting things on both GBP USD and Euro USD. So I'm going to take GBP USD first so that we can look at it together and then we can obviously decide. Now, um, just looking at the weekly time frame for, for, for um, GBP USD, um, GBP USD is in a nasty range. Now, like once again, this is what the Forex Mastery course will do for you. It will help you and teach you how to zoom out. So if you come on the monthly time frame, you'll see that GBPUSD is in a nasty range. Monthly range that has been here since 2017. That doesn't mean we haven't had trading opportunities. I made money going up. I made money coming down. I also made money while this market went up as well. However, it just gives me a, a guide so that I know I know exactly what exactly is happening with this market. Don't forget, you see our key levels have actually held this market tight. I plotted these key levels many years ago, and as you can see, the market came here and has respected it pretty nicely. Now, moving forward with GBPUSD, GBPUSD can do anything, okay? However, I feel like this, this is kind of like a double top. I feel like maybe this market might roll over to the downside. You see, when you're in a range, you don't exactly, and this is, this is why I keep preaching to you guys that a lot of traders and their strategies only work during trending markets. This is why when you're in a demo, you make money. And when you're in a live account, you lose money. Because you demo, most of the time you're demoing, the market is trending. And then when you go to live, the market is in a range. And your strategy and your IML leader did not teach you that after every trend comes a range. Okay? So it is always important for you to be able to identify the ranges because during the ranges is when you're ideally supposed to stand aside. So back to this situation in a range, it is always very difficult for you to identify a clear direction. OK, so at the moment I can see a double top. Now, the deciding factor for if GBPUSD will will go up or down is pretty much this black bar here. You see, for me, in this market, it is either or, either or. And once I have my either and or, I give both of them probabilities, okay? So now let's scale lower to try and see what exactly is happening a bit properly, right? Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this market actually belts to the downside because I would be, you know, we've broken the trend line, you know. So this black bar is pretty much what is holding this market from heading lower okay this black bar is actually what's preventing this market from heading a bit lower so 
um, if we can break this black bar, we'll come here. However, I have found something very interesting that might suggest that GBPUSD might actually want to head higher. Now, let's go over to the daily time frame. And I want us to look at this consolidate. Forex Mastery students, let's have a look at this consolidation period very carefully. Okay. Now, this market um, formed somewhat of a right shoulder. Okay. Now we formed this right shoulder and ideally we're supposed to break this neckline to bleed. That didn't happen. We actually came here and we've popped above. Now if you look very carefully at these two bricks below, you can see to you it looks like a double bottom. Okay? To you it looks like a double bottom. So the first signal is that, okay, if indeed this market wanted to head lower, yeah? If indeed this market wanted to head lower, we should have broken on the second attempt. Don't forget, left shoulder, head, shoulder, head, left shoulder, right shoulder, head. We tested it the first time to form the right shoulder. Now, this should have been the guide to bleed us lower. Just like in AUD USD that we saw, we tested it the first time. And then when we came down, whoosh, we broke down. However, we didn't do that in this case. And not only did we not do that in this case, we formed the double bottom. And now, if you look at this double bottom very carefully, you see, when, you, when it comes to this chart, I have to be an FBI agent. I'm an investigative trader. Look how this low is higher than this one. This low is higher than this one. Yes, if I draw it, you see it. It's higher than this one. So for this reason alone, it's got me thinking, maybe this head and shoulder doesn't want, maybe this is actually a failed head and shoulder pattern that has formed on the daily time frame for GBPUSD. Now, from experience, what actually happens to failed head and shoulder patterns is this. Okay. If I come to the week for the daily time frame, what tends to happen is when a failed head and shoulder pattern happens, Usually what tends to happen is that the market tends to reverse in the opposite direction. So what do I mean by this? If I draw my counter trend lines like so, as you can see carefully, I feel very honestly within myself that the GBPUSD might have a shot to the upside. Now you see this trade, I'm 60% sure about this. There's something in me. And also look, we broke this counter trend line read so this is a breakout retest continuation so what i'm going to try and do is now i'm going to try and draw this kind of trend line properly and as you can see we have even cleared this region about here so what has actually happened right about here is we tried we tried to break lower it didn't happen we formed the higher high higher low and we've come to test this trend and we've broken it's a breakout retest so we've broken our risk so we're now kind of like facing like this don't forget because the overall perspective is a range it becomes a bit dicey so i'm going to give this upside 60 percent so now let's try and see how if indeed we were supposed to get into this market the best approach to get into this market right now personally what i would be looking out for is a range uh give me a sec I'll be looking for something like a daily candle break to the upside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a resistance bar about here. This will be my guide. This will be my guide. So you can see my trading is very simple and straightforward. I put all these things in place to protect my and preserve my capital. Now, it's a very simple situation. Okay, if we break above, best believe we're going to come at least into this left shoulder region somewhere around here at least at least come here however if we fire at this yellow bar fire 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 and we're unable to break lower then we might say okay no trade i don't have any trades to the downside so whenever it is that you you do your analysis and you find something interesting just try and put in some circuit breakers in place to ensure that you're not overly excited, okay? I need the market to confirm to me. Put some confirmations in place to ensure that you don't get into the wrong hands, okay? So, GBPUSD, I'm favoring this guy a little bit to the upside. However, if that doesn't happen, 
um, maybe the market might collapse all the way to the downside to come and test this region about here. So, you know, it's two scenarios that might occur. Let me delete this. Two scenarios that might occur. So I'm just going to watch out for this. Usually, I don't really like trading when the market is ranging. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. It just makes me a bit sick. So two things are going to happen. Now, this is kind of like a wedge if we can break down here or we can break higher but honestly guys there's just something in me that is just itchy just telling me that you know gbp usd might fire to the upside you know it's just something in me something in me something in me so let me look at the weekly candles to see the weekly candles are suggesting that this market is having difficulties breaking this bar give me a second let me delete this You see most forex traders that come on on, 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 on on YouTube, I watch their videos. They don't level up to this shit, man. They don't level up to this shit. They're talking 15 minute charts. 15 minute charts blow your account. Come on, man. You don't see this shit on 15 minute time frames, do you? So because of this sudden push to the upside, you know, this it rejected it back to the upside i feel like gbp usd might have a chance a shot at the upside so all i'm going to do in this situation is once again you know me guys i'm going to put my my, my i'm going to put my my um confirmation point about here this is going to be my confirmation point um if we can if i see a clear break daily candle break i'm going to do a daily candle close above this for my buy trade and then um, we'll see how it goes but it's going to take a couple of days for this market to mature once that happens guys look at you have all this you have all these pips to the upside i'm talking i'm talking if this market has a massive breakout if you get in at 1.3900 you have all this room to the upside to 1.42 so that's giving you roughly about 300 pips to the upside which is quite juicy if you ask me so at this point for gpusd is patience for now but this market don't forget is moving sideways at the moment now the last bit on my list is euro usd now honestly I just feel like the euro wants to go higher okay I just feel like it's just one of them trades in between that I feel like the euro wants to go higher okay because look what's happening on the euro what I can see is left shoulder head right shoulder so it's looking like an inverse head and shoulder pattern if I draw my Fibonacci from swing low to swing high um, you can see how this bad boy has pretty much come in here okay um, I can see a four hour um breakout happening at the moment so all i'm going to be doing is i'm going to just wait for a four hour candle to happen about here now because of the fact that this market is inside of a it's just inside of, a, of an entire mess i'm going to be reducing my risk from three percent to two percent on this trade just because it's not a trending market at the moment okay because obviously you know i trade for investors i'm just i don't want to hear stories okay even if you look at this right about now so this is the wedge this is the wedge or maybe this might be the wedge bottom of the wedge give me a sec guys i'm just trying as much as possible to understand what exactly is happening at the moment what exactly is happening you see you get to see me analyze this market real time so that you get to see what exactly professional traders are thinking about okay just trying to make so what i'm doing here is i'm just trying to make i'm trying to eliminate all the reasons why this trade wouldn't work out okay this is what i'm trying to do at the moment so just give me a bit of time so that if i say it's time to buy let's be sure that it's time to buy okay let's just be sure that it's time to buy so we'll pull back down inside of here okay so um the buy trade is looking pretty juicy, but I, I have a little bit of concern, which I want you guys to also take into consideration as well when you're getting into this buy trade. So I can see a very decent breakout retest continuation happening about here. Actually, this trade is looking like it's ripe for a buy as we speak. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to... So, okay, fuck it. Let's go ahead and call it. I'm looking at Euro USD 1.1849... 1.1840 1 next level target for the euro 
um, kind of fancying the euro to the upside um, because I have a clear case of breakout retest continuation. I, ho I also have an inverse head and shoulder that has pretty much formed inside of here, as we can see. So yeah, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. So um, my entries are actually, I'm going to probably execute this trade. I'm going to reduce my risk from actually 2% to 1% because um, we're actually trading inside murky waters about here. But I don't care. Let's go for it, right? We've made enough money on AUD USD. Let's see if we can take some risk at the moment. So stop losses are going to be down below here. Um, profit targets should be somewhere at the top, right about there. Actually, we might actually blow up a bit higher. So first level targets for this trade is 1.1. 1.18940 um, next level targets will be 1.1936 yes you heard it here first Apple Willis stop losses are going to be all the way down here um, guys trade accordingly to your risk management please don't say because Dapsy said it you go ahead and gamble your account that won't be cool but um, I'm actually favoring the upside for this trade as we speak let me also see now now that we've been able to identify a trading opportunity let's go and look for reasons why this trade might not work out so that we can also put that in our contingency plan as well okay so don't forget euro usd is actually looking like a buy i'm going to try and up, update um up this video as quickly as i'm done with this video okay my, my thing is hanging at the moment um Now, I'm a bit worried about this bad boy as we speak. I'm a bit worried about this bad boy. So, what I'm going to actually do, as you can see, this. So, you see, Forex traders, when we do our analysis, because we get so excited about the analysis, we tend to. Oh, shit, my chest. We tend to. We tend to, like, eliminate. Or we tend to just be blind or just only our analysis guys it's not only your analysis that exists in the market you also have to look at all the other reasons why your trade might not work out and as you can see we found one just about now okay so it's better to identify it so that when you get into the trade or whatever the situation is you're not scared so now that i've seen this black bar um i know that i'm going to put this down in my journal and I'm going to watch this black bar very carefully. I'm going to watch this black bar. Trust me, guys. I'm going to watch this black bar very carefully. I'm actually taking a significant amount of risk getting into this trade because this black bar running across here is looking like, you know, maybe that's the reason why this market rejected about here. But I want to believe that this inverse head and shoulder has held and we would actually blow out to the upside. So the chances of this trade working out is about 70%. I'm going to delete this about now. So yes, I'm just going to be watching for Euro USD to take off in the coming days. Uh, let me also draw this right about here. Okay. Actually, guys, actually, 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 this should be our new um, rules of engagement. Let us wait for this black counter trend line to be taken out. A clear break. This is the rules of engagement. Four hour candle break out of here. Four hour candle break out of here. I will be a lot more confident getting into this buy trade. And then first level targets are here. Second level targets are here. So you have a significant amount of pips to the upside. So 1.18240 to 1.8. So you're looking at roughly how many pips is that? So a lot of pips this is a four hour time frame so we should probably be looking at just about a hundred pips 150 there but i'm not exactly sure i don't care how many pips it is i just know that entries are here stops are here uh, first level targets are here second level targets are here so guys there you go uh, you heard it here first once the euro usd can break out of this counter trend line feel free to start buying um gbp usd i'm also favoring the upside as well um but don't forget these are the reasons these are the rules of engagement counter trend lines must be broken we must see a clear i need to see an erection from a candle an erective candle green break here and i'm good to start buying gbp usd the the same is the case um, I'm gonna need to see a clear break above this before I can obviously eventually start putting my money on this trade at the moment but um, yes I'm just gonna be watching the, both trades as we speak euro USD and GBP USD for potential buy trades um, AUD USD um, 
I'm going to be sitting on my hands at the moment. So guys, don't forget, please, please, I gave you guys rules of entry. For GBPUSD buy, we need to break this top bar here. For EURUSD buy, we need to break the counter trend line about here. Please don't trade blindly. As you can see, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for 10 years and these are all the things that I put in place to ensure that I don't get into premature trades and to ensure that what I remain consistent. So once again, guys, thank you for staying to the very end. This was quite a very intense one. I'm happy you guys, you know, watch this. Once again, if you want to learn how to analyze like this and to ensure that you get the very best trading decisions, the link to the Forex Mastery course is going to be down below. Don't forget to grab it. And once again, I have a little message for you guys on my other screen now let us go all right guys so there you go thank you for staying to the very end of this fantastic episode of trader talk i hope you found all the information here very valuable went over a couple of pairs today was pretty much like a continuation from the last trader talk video um aud as you can see has given us some profit we like it is nice in the trader talk episode i told you guys what to expect if the market breaks below where it is at the moment it's gonna obviously drop to the ground however i won't be surprised if we reverse to the upside from where we are at the moment so at this point stop losses have been moved to break even um and then we can i've taken out this about 30 percent of my profit at the moment um so i'm just going to be watching the market to see what happens but it, the profit is looking quite handsome right it's looking quite handsome and then a couple of other pairs that i went over so guys um i have another video coming out this weekend always watch out for my videos um, i'm gonna try as much as possible to be releasing two videos every week if you haven't already subscribed to the channel ensure to do that drop me a comment this channel isn't like the rest on youtube this channel is the real deal if you haven't already grabbed the forex mastery course the link is going to be down below and yes my preferred broker as always is infinox capital um the link to open your account with infinox is going to be down below infinox thank you so much for the support you give to me and the support you give to the forex mastery students once again that's my time that and peace out